Shaw, this is General Keating. Listen carefully, son, because we're almost out of time. An Artemis Special Operations team slipped into Los Angeles a few hours ago and placed a nuclear warhead somewhere in the city. The warhead set off our radiological alarms, but the detectors can't narrow down the warhead's location. The Artemis team must have remained mobile until the very last minute because they've left radioactive traces all over the city. The only way to filter out the false traces and find the bomb is to perform a search from the air. We've equipped an AWACS plane with radiological sensors that will fly a search pattern over the city and find the exact location of the warhead. Artemis expects us to try and find the bomb, so they've got fighters and automated air defense systems covering the city. Crenshaw, you and your men have to protect the AWACS plane from air and ground threats until the bomb is found. According to the warhead specs, we've only got a few minutes until the timer runs out. We don't have a second to spare, Captain. Good luck and Godspeed. Fighters inbound. Take them out. Get moving, son. We've got ten minutes to find that bomb before it detonates. I've got enemy fighters on my scope. Closing fast. Good luck! Fire at will! Heads up, flight leader! A bandit's got you locked up! Full approaching command! Nice move! You dodged that one! Enemy fighters are in firing range! Nice kill, Shade! Inbound. Take them out. Enemy fighters are in firing range. 
Engaging target. I'm reading a solid lock, flight leader. Fire him up. Let's go straight ahead. The target is still active, flight leader. Good launch. Tracking it now. Missile impact. Good kill, flight leader. Man, the dirt firing range. Get him off us. Missile break. I've got new contacts on my scope. Closing fast. Looks like Artemis is... This is cheating. Five minutes left. Launch confirmed. Citadel, are you getting anything? All units, is this 
Citadel. I'm picking up high radiation event in Zone 3. All ground units should evacuate the area immediately. You did it, Crenshaw. The warhead was destroyed. We've got a high level of radiation in the area, but we managed to get everyone clear in time. Hazmat crews are entering the area now to recover the radioactive material. What now, sir? I need to notify the President. Now that Artemis has lost his nuclear threat, they are in a world of hurt. I expect the company will agree to a ceasefire as soon as they learn what happened here. For all intents and purposes, this war is over. Well done, Hawks. The people of Los Angeles owe you their lives. You can bet I'll be putting you boys in for a medal when I get back to D.C. Sir, right now I'd settle for a hot meal in about a week of rack time. Ain't that the truth. It may be a night or two on the town. I think I can arrange that. You're clear to land at Nellis Air Force Base. We're putting you down at your old digs until we get this situation settled. Oh, yeah! Las Vegas, baby! Time to go see the showgirl! You better hope those girls like all of draft, Casper. Why's that? Because all our clothes are still in Brazil. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is Citadel. Enemy search radars are active, so keep low as you fly through the canyons to avoid detection. This is a black operation, so stealth is crucial. An altitude indicator on your HUD will warn you if you are flying too high. If you exceed safe altitude and are detected, we'll have to abort the mission. Keep it in the weeds, Captain. We're only gonna get one shot at this. Hawksley, this is Citadel. Target information has been uploaded to your ERS TAC map. Proceed to nav point and stand by for go order from the Pentagon. I'm showing you well below radar detection altitude. Start your run to the target now. The United Nations met in an emergency session at their temporary headquarters in Zurich earlier today to vote on the nullification of the Reykjavik Accord. The Accord, ratified in early 2012, ushered in the era of the private military company, which reached its peak during the South American War earlier this year, and culminated in the brief but devastating conflict between Artemis Global Security and the United States. The conflict, which lasted less than 72 hours, and left an estimated 40,000 U.S. citizens dead in cities across the country, was the single deadliest attack on U.S. soil by a foreign power in the country's history. Speaking at the U.N. headquarters, President Sullivan declared that the era of lawless, extranational mercenary forces has come to an end. With the repeal of the accord, the existing PMCs will be forced to either disarm their combat forces and accept low-level support and logistics contracts, as they did at the turn of the century, or cease doing business altogether. In the wake of the conflict with the United States, Artemis Global Security has effectively ceased to exist. An international manhunt continues for Artemis CEO Adrian De Winter and members of the PMC's executive board, who disappeared shortly after the Los Angeles incident. Officials at Interpol insist that the fugitives will eventually be caught, but because of the extraterritorial provisions written into the Reykjavik Accord, legal experts are fearful that De Winter and his associates will ever receive the punishment they deserve. Looking good. You're almost there. Leader has a box kill. You got a lock, flight leader. 
Ever again. Mission accomplished, Crenshaw. Time to head for home. 